All right, so this is my 13th video doing optimization problems. Uh, check out the other ones. They should be right there close to each other. Uh, you can look in my derivatives playlist. They'll be in there. That'll be the easy way to find it. All right, so let's look at this one. It says a poster is to have an area of 180 square inches with one inch margins at the bottom and sides and a two inch margin at the top. What dimensions will give the largest printed area? All right, so let's draw a picture and see what we've got here. And then we're going to have margins here. All right, so this is going to be a two inch margin. This will be a one inch margin and a one inch margin here. And the, yeah, the bottom has a one inch margin also. All right, so we want to know what dimensions will give the largest printed area. So we want this area right here to be the largest. That would be that would be this area here. We want to be the largest. All right, so so let's see. All right, so it's let's first let's label. So let's just label this X, and we will label this Y. All right. So let's look at the information that it gives us first. It says a poster is to have an area of 180 square inches. So that's the entire poster. Okay, so we know, let me write it, I'm going to write it up here. The area is x times y. So I know that 180 is equal to x times y. That's the area of the poster. All right, now we want to maximize this area. Well, this area is going to be the length times width or length times width, whichever one you want to call the length, whichever one you want to call the width. But let's see, this dimension right here is going to be this distance y, so that's y minus this two inches minus this one inch, so that's going to be minus three. And this distance is going to be x minus this one inch minus this one inch, so minus two. All right, so that tells us that the area of this little piece here is x minus two times x minus three. x minus two times x minus three. I'm sorry not x minus 3, how about y? Does that sound better? Alright, <clears throat> so I need to take the derivative of this thing, but I do want to get everything in terms of one of the variables. We'll get everything in terms of uh, x. But let's go ahead and do this. I don't know, it might be easier to just go ahead and fold this out first. So x times y, that's xy minus 3x minus 2y plus 6. Okay. So now we need to figure out what y is. Well, I can come over here. I've got this equation here that 180 is equal to x times y. So that tells me y is equal to 180 over x. Okay. So let's plug this in for y. Whoop. 
All right, so that's going to give us a is equal to x times y, which is 180 over x minus 3x minus 2 times y. Y is 180 over over x plus 6. So this is going to give me the area is, let's see, 180 minus 3x minus, what is that, 360 over x plus 6. So A is going to be, let's see, 186 minus 3x minus 360 over x. All right, so let's take the derivative now. So the derivative is, well, that's 0, so that's going to be negative 3. Now, remember this. This is just 360, just real quick. 360 times 1 over x, right? So we're taking the derivative of 1 over x and then multiplying it by 360. Well, I'm not going to go through all that, but remember, that's x to the negative 1. Negative 1 comes down, subtract, okay? Now let me just go ahead and do it. So that's negative x to the negative 2, so that's negative 1 over x squared. It's the derivative of 1 over x. So 360 times that. So that's going to give me plus, see the negative here and the negative here? That's going to be plus 360 over x squared. So now I need to set this equal to 0. So I've got negative 3 plus 360 over x squared equals 0. So that's going to give me 360 over x squared equals 3. So 360 is equal to 3x squared. x squared is equal to 120. And so x is the square root of 120. And then if we uh, simplify that, remember uh, 120, that's 4 times 30. So that's going to be x is 2 square roots of 30. Okay. So there's x. So And this is in inches, yep, square inches. So that's inches. So there's the x value. Now we need to find the y value. So remember y is equal to 180 over x. So y is 180 over x. Alright, so that tells me y is equal to 180 over 2 square root of 30. And so that's going to give me what? That's 90 over square root of 30. And then if I rationalize the denominator, that's going to give me 90 times the square root of 30 over 30. And so that's going to be 3 square root of 30. And that's in inches. And so there's the dimension for y. So that, that tells me, that gives me, this dimension here. Okay. All right. So I hope that helped. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.